and then with your gavotte okay so this is a little bit more difficult this piece than night march i think in some ways um so we've gone up to one two lines plus one extra note in the right hand down to that g so i'm going to do all of that with my right hand so you started very well with this one you just went a little bit quick on some of those crotchet notes okay and also um you need to correct those last notes at the end of that first line there sorry can you see it there it is the g to the e all right so watch out for those but from the beginning in the right hand i'm coming in on the third count so i'm going to count in two counts first one and two and three and four and one two so keep these steady listen to the speed of those now the quavers again so watch these last notes g e then d okay repeating that opening now i'm changing to the fourth finger then a rest, G, rest, C, rest, A, and G. So from here, where you change to the fourth finger on the C, where those quavers are, from there on, you don't move the hand at all. Your fingers stay exactly where they are. There's rests, as printed there, but between that note on the end of the second line and the G on the next line, there's no rest. So make sure you go A, to G without a stop. So I'm going to play it from the quavers in the middle of the second line. A, D, rest, G, rest, C, rest, then A, G. Now the left hand, um, you were using one and four, so I'm making sure that I'm using the same as you at the beginning. So C to G, again, nice short staccato. Short, 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 just repeats that three times. Now onto the next line, it goes downhill this time. One, then we've got three lots of rests or three beat rests. Now these chords, let's, let's work out what they are. So we need to move our third finger to C and our second finger to D. And again, once you've found that first chord, the rest of the chords, you don't need to move your hand at all. So the first one is C and D for the rest, B and D, E and A, and then a single D. So just those four, one, two, three, four chords again. One, rest, rest, rest. Okay. When you put that hands together, the right hand and left hand are filling in where the rests are written. So you won't have to necessarily count it when you're playing it both hands together. Left, right, left, right, left, right, right. Okay, but that's when you put it hands together. The moment we're staying hands separately, but if you want to, after you've practiced, you could try that very opening, just hands together slowly. So I will go a little bit slower now from the beginning. Starting with my right hand uh, quavers, let's count in. One and two and three and four and slow in both hands. Then both a staccato. Then both hold. Both a staccato. Both slur. Then both a staccato again. Okay, it's a funny place to stop, but I've just stopped at the beginning of the second line. So if you do try it hands together, I would just try that a little bit hands together. But you have to make sure you're playing, certainly at the end of that first line, those two notes there. Because they're a little bit different in each hand. You're spreading these two fingers, if you can see. But the right, sorry, the left hand isn't copying, it's just doing next door notes. So a little bit of coordinating between the two hands there. There are some funny sounds also. It's a bit sort of... Um, clashy sounds in the music so just get used to that i'm just going to do that opening once again one and two and three and four and both join onto staccato then both hold a bit longer both
both a staccato, then G, do your slur, ending on staccato, and then just hold just the beginning of that second bar. Don't go any further for the moment. <laughs> 